Well, welcome to Amy Humphrey's Two Screen Careers today. Thank you for spending time with us, Amy. Now, your role currently within film production is of a post-production supervisor. I wonder if you could just explain to us what responsibilities uh, come with that role. Okay, hello, first of all. <laughs> um, so basically, my role is to manage the process once things have been recorded on location. So everything from the camera onwards, I look after the management of the flow of that information. So um, in the build up to filming, um, my role is to look at the workflow. So that's liaising with the DIT on set and the DOP. Um, what cameras they're going to be shooting on, you know, all that sort of information. Um, and then we decide on a process that's going to mean that we look after that because obviously it's really detrimental to any shoot if you lose what you're filming on any given filming day. So that's kind of the first job. We sort of drill down into the best way to look after that. And a lot of that detail can come from who you're filming for, what the, you know, what the end kind of output is. Um, so there's a lot of detail that you go into there. Um, and then beyond that, I look after the edits, I liaise with the editors, we look at the schedule together, how we're going to kind of manage that, what support they need. Um, then we get further down the line and we look at kind of sign off process. So once the shows are kind of coming together a bit more, they'll have to go through a process of notes. So we'll speak to the parties who are involved in that so that we can get editorial sign off. And then further down the line, um, I manage the final post process, which is where you basically do all the finishing. So all the bells and whistles, which pretty up the show and make it kind of the thing of beauty that we see on our screens. Wow, that sounds <coughs> a really interesting role, Amy. And, and I would imagine that um, you've had to work on a career progression to get to that position. Um, just out of interest, and it would be great to know, what was your career journey from leaving school until the moment that you've got within your, the role that you are, you're working within now? So I, so I went to sixth form college actually, and I, I sort of did a, an array level, and I studied some sort of modules of a BTEC in media production just to get a bit of varied experience really and we sort of did like radio stations and film documentary sort of footage and just an all-round thing and then I went to um, Goldsmiths University where I did a degree in media and communications. Um, that was kind of 50-50 sort of academic and 50% um, practical and you had to specialise so I actually specialised in radio um which was great because you kind of got to take control of the narrative yourself and sort of go out and shoot uh, well record um your own projects and edit those and so you were sort of looking after that whole management process in the first place uh then when i left there i went in as a runner at um bbc on a, a music program actually at the time and after that, I, I met some people who took me under their wing at Alamo, which was a, a scripted comedy company. Um, they did things like Goodnight Sweetheart and Birds of a Feather back in the day. Um, so, and I kind of worked my way up there, really, in, in, in the development side of things and actually sort of worked in script development and finding new writers and new projects and um, editing scripts on existing projects. Um, and I, so I had some really brilliant experiences doing that and then I decided that actually I kind of wanted to be in the thick of it really in, in production. So after a bit of a spell seeing the world, um, I came back and I, I started prod secking and then kind of worked my way up really over a period of about 10 years. Um, in the production office then? On, in the production office, like, yeah. yeah. So I sort of did... And in comedy, you tend to sort of work across the whole spectrum of a production. So, you know, I, I would look at, I would look after the post side of things as just part of my normal kind of remit. Right. Um, 
I worked on a series called Episodes, which was a co-pro between Showtime in the US and the BBC in the UK. Um, and so that was kind of one of those shows which had a bit more to it on the post side because there was just you were delivering to a US network as well as the UK one and you were also kind of spanning LA and the UK in terms of working hubs and you know so that that was a really good experience for me for kind of leading into what I'm doing now mm. um yeah and I I think I went and had kids um People who work in scripted production will tell you that the hours are quite long and um, for me you know I wanted something that basically sort of were complemented that and work with that without losing touch with the industry that I love so much so um, you know I was given some brilliant opportunities to work on some comedies um, one with yourself and um, yeah so that, that's kind of the trajectory I'm, I'm on at the moment really and you know I'm I'm not kind of I'm still fairly new to it yeah. um there's an awful lot to learn in terms of technology um which is constantly changing that's interesting can I just pick up on that because I think for a new entrant or somebody who's looking to aspire to 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 to, to career progress towards this role um, is there any particular tips or advice you could give um, a new entrant in regards of software that they should be aware of or some IT skills that they should be aware of within your role or within the department? I think on a really, really basic level, I would say it's always good to have good administrative skills. When I went to Sixth Form College, I did a um just a qualification in, in kind of basic secretarial stuff because that's you know we our lives are run by spreadsheets and google docs and you know it's really important to be able to to be organized and on top of things um beyond that most of the kind of technical stuff is undertaken by the people that you're managing and that you're working with but it's a really good idea to kind of speak to the people that you're working with speak to the people in the post houses you know your post producers your colorist your you know speak to your editors everybody that's around you and just you know people people are very happy to talk to you about what they're doing um and they will kind of give you time and that's what i do i just try and sort of have a little bit of time so that i understand what it is that people are talking about because these are really complex systems that people are using and they're specialists in that field and you know so you're not expected to know everything but it's a really good idea to you know try and find out an overview that's very good advice i mean is there, is there a kind of an entry level for 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 new people is it is there an assistant role that one could look into or um <clears throat> so you can you can oh, post coordinate which i think is more something that you would do on films um it really depends on the scale of something that you're working in right i would probably say that the way the way into it is to go through the production route and then move across that's sound advice um now then, we're coming to a close. Amy, it's been a really wonderful time listening to your wonderful wisdom and advice. But I would love to hear um, what your career highlights have been and are there any future goals past post-production supervising at all? Um, career highlights? Well, I mean, in all honesty, it's just the people that I've had the opportunity to work with over the years. You know, it's, it's really... I mean, I, in particular, I love comedy and, you know, I, I worked on um, Peep Show, which was just a fantastic show to be part of, you know, it's a bit of a cult comedy and there was just some fantastic talent, obviously the writers um, are now, you know, winning awards left, right and centre and um, the director, absolutely fantastic female director on that. Um, and then episodes was a brilliant experience for me. It was, you know, working with creator of friends. I mean, it doesn't 
really get better than that in the scheme of things. Um, Big fun. So, um, yeah, it's brilliant. But you also, it, you know, it's not just the kind of like headline people, it's the people that you work with along the way that are in your team, you know, and I, it, it's lovely to see people's names on credits that you, you know, they were a runner when you worked with them or, you know, it, it's lovely to kind of be part of this network of people, you know, all these kind of contacts along the way that, you know, populate the industry and are just achieving such brilliant things really. So for me, that's the highlight is just getting to spend a period of time with, with people who, you know, are just immensely talented and, and lovely to be around. Um, yeah, and there's been a few good trips here, there and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting to lose in too much detail, but there's wonderful opportunity. You know, it it can really open doors to fantastic experiences. So, and a few trips yeah. you made to Wales with our production Warren many many moons ago, which was a, a oh, joy to work by. Absolutely, you. absolutely, it was lovely. I, I love that. I just want to say a massive thank you to you for you spending time with us today, for partaking with your wisdom and great advice, and for joining us here today on Screen Careers. Many thanks to you, Amy Diolch. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.